Fox Weather's Brandi Campbell is in Shreveport. She's in one of the areas that's already been impacted by severe weather. Brandi, what's the latest? Hey, Amy, so we're standing in front of about one of 20 businesses here in Shreveport that were impacted by that tornado. So this is a laundry mat right here. If you want to go ahead and take a look inside, you can see some of that damage. In the last hour, we were looking at it from the outside. The wall on the right hand side collapsed in. So you can see a lot of the washer and dryers leaning forward. There's some water in here as well. So this was exposed uh, for the second round that came through. This all happened in the five o'clock hour yesterday. So it was still daylight out here. Some people still at work. Uh, there were actually folks or two kids, I should say, in this vehicle that has the sign collapse on top. We heard those kids were actually OK. And in general, there were no injuries in this city reported. So that is good news. But outside of businesses, I'm told there are about 50 homes that are also damaged. I'm told there's uh, some roofs that have been ripped off as well. So we're going to get around and look for those as well. So if we take a look across the road, you can see there's a gas station that also got some damage as well. Uh, and we were there last night as they were trying to clean it up. So we're going to try and catch the mayor if we can. Mayor, Mayor Arsenal. Let's see, can we speak with you? All right. All right, we're going to catch him real quick. This is the mayor of Shreveport. Sorry, I caught you as you were walking off. All right, I That's OK. Thank you so much for joining us on Fox Weather. Sure. Um, this is your city. Uh, what are you thinking this morning uh, as you're seeing some of the damage out here? Well, I feel very much for the business owners and the homeowners who've had uh, their property damage. We're very, we're very grateful mm -hmm. that we didn't have any, uh, apparently no serious injuries. No, nobody was transported to the hospital. Hospitals don't report any admissions that were related to the, uh, to the storm. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, but we're now in a serious cleanup mode. Right. So when it comes to cleanup, can you tell me what's exactly going on? I can see they're over here. It looks like they're fixing a street light or I'm sorry, the uh, traffic light over here. What's going on as far as next steps with cleanup? Our, our streets and drainage people are on their way if they're not if they're not here already to move some of the large limbs and, and trees that uh, that were knocked down by the storm. Everybody else is uh, we're we're going door to door to make sure people have insurance or have a place to stay. And, and so that really it's kind of a kind of a, a rescue and uh, rescue and comfort mode uh, that we're in right now. Now, I've heard there are some roofs that have been ripped off about 50 homes that were damaged. Uh, is there a shelter or something in place for people who might have that extensive damage to their homes? We haven't had any requests for shelter. Mm -hmm. uh, the American Red Cross is, is standing by to provide shelter for those people. But uh, fortunately, it appears that most of these people had a place to go or had means to be able to uh, to do that. But we're standing by to do that if it should become necessary. Okay. And last question. You guys have kind of been in the bullseye of storms almost like week after week. Right. What has it been like for you guys just trying to, you know, really navigate through that, just seeing severe storms just kind of come to this area consistently so far? Well, we're this is the time of year when we get these kind of storms. So in, in a way, it's it's good and bad. We're, we're accustomed to them coming coming through, but because we're accustomed to them coming through, sometimes we don't pay as much attention to the warnings okay. uh, as we did. I know there was a tornado warning, and, and I myself was headed to a dinner last night, okay. uh, and I had checked the radar to make sure it was safe to go. And of course, by the time I got there, it, it was at LSUS, and that's one of the places that was hit by the storm. So uh, it, it, the, the lesson from this is to really do pay attention to those tornado warnings. Thank you so much, Mayor. I Thank appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. Good to see you, Brandon. Good to see you, too. All right, guys. So we're going to stick around and continue to really show you guys what's going on and how they're handling it here in Shreveport. Back to you. Brandy Campbell getting the mayor of Shreveport there with no injuries reported. That's good news. We're going to stay in touch with you, Brandy, as we go throughout exactly. the morning. Thank you so much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.